My name is C.T. Hushin. I teach economics at Union County High School, and I'm in my 15th year as an educator. i uh, taught seven years of economics. I've taught uh, social studies, all four disciplines in the social studies in the last 15 years. Uh, since I started using the LDS, um, it's, it's become a lot, uh, lot friendlier to be able to go back and, and, and see the different elements uh, and, and strengths and weaknesses that my students have, have, have uh, performed on the economics EOCT. I've been able to go back and look at specific strands uh, to see maybe weaknesses that, that I had that particular year and, uh, and that's been very helpful addition. Upon getting the, uh, the class roster and the ability to look up uh, those students on the LDS, uh, we'll, we'll look at their Lexile levels uh, to determine who has uh, a Lexile level less than 1230 and record those students. And then we'll look at their U.S. History EOCT results, uh, possibly their Physical Science EOC, EOCT results, and then um, also combine that with their Social Studies graduation test uh, results. And, and we can identify a, a solid list of at-risk students at that point um, to, to focus on throughout the semester. Uh, after identifying the students, we were at a meeting uh, with our superintendent, Gary Stepp, and he, he asked, he said, well, you know who these students are, but you know, what are you going to do about it? And, and we, we sat down and we kind of thought, well, we need to have some type of, of materials for these students to be able to, uh, you know, improve on. I mean, we know that they're at risk, but, but these are the students that we need to, to focus on right here. When we found students on the list and that also uh, did not do well on our diagnostic tests uh, there towards the end of the class, um, you know, we, we've wrestled with what should we tell them or not and, and we did and we took them outside and, and we would we'd talk, have about a minute long discussion uh, with them about why they were uh, on the list and what they can do the materials that are are there that we've placed on the teach 180 uh, site to be able to uh, to be able to pass and, and and even exceed the test take last last semester for example we had uh, eight, I had 88 total students in in that just the, that semester uh, 20 of which were on the on the list for at risk uh, with the LDS list and uh, we, we spoke with those students and uh, and only two two out of the 88 uh, did not meet uh, the state standard and uh, we had 75 percent overall uh, exceed and many of those kids that were on the list that we spoke with uh, actually exceeded the test and I mean, you know, students, if they, they just need motivation, motivation to, to take the test, to prepare for the test and, uh, and focus on it, you would think that it would put extra pressure on some students, but uh, I've found that, that it even, it, they, they do better, uh, you know, than expected on the test. My name is Kristen Naylor. I'm in my third year of college at Young Harris College, and I'm doing my student teaching this semester with Mr. Hushin at Union County High School. I am new to the LDS program, but from what I know about it, Mr. Hushin showed me this week, um, it is a very useful tool. I find it very compelling that you can identify the at-risk students and then have a better remediation plan for them. It's one of the tools to use other tools to help the test scores up and to hopefully get them passing. The LDS hasn't really created uh, more work for me uh, in the long run. It's actually saved me time. 